Hello there, I'm Nixie Pixel, and you're watching OS Salt, your source for open source. The birds are chirping, spring is in the air, I decided to bear some sort of alabaster type skin because I need the vitamin D, frankly. So here I am again with part 2 of your frequently asked questions because you guys totally deserve some answers. <laughs> Brought to you by Tang. Have you ever ran Linux on a video game console? All the time, actually, with every game console that I have so far. Um, Xbox, if you think of XBMC, it runs off Linux. So does PS3, PS2, and the Wii. Of course, there's also the GameCube, because I love me some Zelda. But yeah, that might be something that not many people know about. Even if they're proprietary products, they still use awesome, open source, loving OSs. What's the biggest open source project that you've personally been involved with? What was it like and what did you do? This is kind of a sad one because I've really just contributed to GitHub and Launchpad. I want to do more, definitely. Uh, I have aspirations of being part of the OLPC program, which is one laptop per child. But honestly, that, that helps with underdeveloped nations as far as building up the infrastructure and helping with education. But as far as what we can do in the US, there are still a lot of kids that fall behind because they don't have computers. It's still a luxury item and I want to change that. Say you're being sent to a desert island with no app to get. Which five open source programs do you take with you? As you know, I'm a dual booter, so most of these aren't exclusive to Linux, but I'd have to say for all my multimedia needs, VLC, all my music and playlists, Clementine, Transmission wouldn't really work if I was on a desert island, but we'll throw that in there too. And of course tar, because that's kind of cheating. I can basically extract anything and run it in the command line, which, yeah, I cheat sometimes. If you had to marry a Linux distro, which would it be? Also, have you used any of the lightweight distros at all? Personally, I'd probably not marry until everybody in my nation can, but I've flirted with Debian, Ubuntu, FreeBSD, Fedora, and I've even gotten some tail from Tails because it's super secure and I love it. But if I'd had to commit, it would be for my mint. I love it. It's Ubuntu inspired, still Debian based. It's just really great overall. And as far as a lightweight distro, Puppy Linux is super lightweight. Not to mention that it loads completely in RAM. I think 128 megabytes is the minimum for that. So it's perfect for your old devices, which I have a lot of. What's the recommended book to pick up for a Linux beginner? No, I'm not gonna say the For Dummies books, but Linux for non-geeks is superb. There's a bunch of different editions and all of them I've loved. And if you're a bit more computer savvy than that and don't mind dropping a little bit of cash, O'Reilly's books are awesome for referencing, but really I, I have no attention span. I am a forum hoe. So my favorite is ubuntuforums.org. They do a lot more than just Ubuntu and it's been an amazing asset for me. Do you feel naughty when entering suggestive Linux commands? VI or Emacs. And you guys should know that I want to be part of the Church of Emacs because uh, Stallman is ludicrous and so am I. Join us now and share the software. You'll be free. Hackers, you'll be free. But really, you guys should know the answer to this by now. I'm not huge into editing, so anything that has a GUI would be perfect for me. Yes, I know, judge me. What's your favorite non-tux mascot in the free software world? Well, there's BSD girl and BSD girl with a sad BSD girl. Hey, 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 giggity. Do you think Linux phones will do well? And eh, the what, where, and the how is kind of superfluous to me. I think open phones will do well. The more choice you have, the better, because you have to think that the average, even non-tech savvy user of cell phones is getting smarter. They want unlocked phones and they want more options. A personal example is even my most tech illiterate friends have CyanogenMod on their phone, so it's really encouraging. I will talk more about if I think open source and Linux phones will do well in my next video when I compare all the mobile OSs that I've seen so far. Saving the best for last. How do you feel about the gradual but noticeable switch in Ubuntu from purely community oriented to trying to turn profitable? Yeah, so honestly, I've been an Ubuntu girl for a really long time and I've noticed the changes. For instance, you have Dash pulling up paid Amazon searches, paid apps in the software center, and even Ubuntu One. But did you know that Canonical actually pulled the word Linux from the Ubuntu website? I was searching randomly one day because I always search randomly and found that, yeah, there's no mention. You guys should do a search for it too. I'm actually starting to agree with the whole Shuttleworth is becoming Steve Jobs type thing. 
which truly kind of disturbs me, as does when any customer-centric company goes to the dark side. What do you guys think? Let me know in a comment below, and until next time, thanks for watching OSALT. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on next Friday's episode of All Things Open Source, where I'm more vitamin D, 100% more. Maybe. Do you hate your cell phone company like I do? I mean, there's random policies and rules that are thrown in there for no other reason than to cost you a lot of money. Get it through your heads, mobile dudes. We want contractless transparency and freedom, and that's where Ting comes in. They agree that we shouldn't be bound to a contract and we should always understand our bills. You can get a 4G phone from Ting that's inexpensive and you only pay for what you use. The data, minutes, and texts you don't use will be credited back to you. Not to mention you won't have to deal with this. Operator. Wait, what? Sorry. You can say refill or press one. Call Ting during business hours and they pick up the phone right away. No wait and no automated system. Give me a live person. Sorry, I'm having so much trouble. Check out osalt.ting.com and try their online savings calculator. And if you're ready to get started, you'll get $25 off most Ting devices. Or $25 towards Ting service just for being an OSALT viewer. It's mobile that makes sense. Customer service. Sure. ¿Cuál de estas opciones desea? Recargas, dólares y minutos que quedan, planes de tarifas, entrar a mi cuenta o soporte técnico. Nope.